Hi there, kite people! Sven from Arealis Kites. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, as you might have thought out, I'm quite fond of kite aerial videography or photography or cap for the convenience. Combining two of my favorite hobbies, kite flying and photography into one. Hey, what can be better than that? But you know, every now and then when I'm out there setting up for a cap session, it's sometimes difficult to really know if there is enough wind for the kite to create the pull required to lift the cap gear. You know, I get everything set up only to discover that, nope, the kite won't lift the gear. So I was thinking about how to remove at least some of the guesswork from this issue and I got this idea. Why not use a luggage scale to measure the pull of the kite? I'm sure that can be possible. So the other day I went shopping and uh, I came home with this little guy. A handy luggage scale covering weights up to about 40 kilograms and that should be sufficient. And to adapt the luggage scale to measuring the pull of a kite, I've added this carabiner hook to clip on to the flying line. Okay, with that out of the way, there are a few other parameters I need to have under control too. First, how heavy is the cap gear? Well, let's find out, shall we? I'm going to use this table scale to find the item's weight and let's start with the camera, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Let's check it out. Alright, the scale is saying 115 grams and let's round it up to 120 grams for the convenience. Then we have the gimbal. Feutech WG2X that does a very good job stabilizing the camera at work. Okay, it weighs in at 246 grams and we round it up to 250 grams. Then finally the rig, all included. And this one adds another 148 grams or let's say 150 grams to the total weight. Now adding all these numbers together will end up with a total weight of 520 grams for the complete rig and camera. Camera. <laughs> but wait there's more there's more the flying line. The kite has to lift the flying line as well, and the longer the line, the more weight is added. So, I normally use two different flying lines when I do my cape aerial videography. One with a braking strength of 100 kilos, and another one at 50 kilos. And now, let's see how much those lines weighs. I've unwinded 10 meters of this 100 kilos flying line, so let's put it on the scale. Alright, 10 meters is 26 grams, which again breaks down to 2.6 grams per meter. Now let's check out the thinner line, the 50 kilo one. Another unwinded 10 meters of this line and the weight is tipping 11 grams which again breaks down to 1.1 gram per meter. Well, what's left to do now is to estimate how much line I will feed to do my capping and do the math. If I plan to use 50 meters 
give or take, <laughs> of the heavier flying line. This will add another 130 grams to the total weight. Well, let's round it up to 150 grams, shall we? So in this case, using the 100 kilo line, the kite must be able to lift at least 670 grams, well, let's say 700 grams to keep the gear off the ground. But hey, we're not quite done yet. And here comes the tricky part. Yeah, the tricky part. The drag. You know, both the cap gear and the flying line will create drag, which must be compensated for. And how to include this factor into the <laughs> equation? Well, I don't know. I'm sure there is a way to calculate this factor too, and if you happen to know, please enlighten me using the comments field down below. It'd be appreciated. But until then, I just have to make a qualified guess. So in this case, I'd say the kite must build up a pull of at least 1000 grams a kilo, maybe even 1200, 1500 grams to make it possible not only to lift the rig off of the ground, but also to pull it higher up in the air while letting out more flying line, preparing for a quality cap session. So, the next time I'll go out to do some kite aerial photography, I'll make sure to try this out in real life to see whether it's gonna work or not. And make no mistake, I'll keep you posted on the result. And until then, just fly.